I spent a lot of my life growing up here on the grounds of the Bongiorno Conference Center. We were a minister's family, so there were lots of times when our finances were tight or it was difficult, but I was going to get to this place. Um, I knew what would happen if I did. There are some special moments that really stick out to me. The first, I probably don't remember as much as some of the others, but I was a young child when I first came to kids camp, and it was at the altar during an evening service that I gave my heart to the Lord for the first time. Without that moment, who knows? you know, what would have happened in all the rest of my years. And like many of us, I've probably rededicated my life many times to the Lord, but for me, that was the first. A few years later, we got called to the altar too. Um, if we were interested in praying and seeking the baptism of the Holy Spirit, and, um, I was eight years old and I had been in church a long time and I, I knew what that looked like, but I hadn't really experienced that for myself. And I can just remember kneeling on the corner of that stage and crying and just experiencing the presence of the Holy Spirit and as he came upon my life in that moment I can remember those syllables of tongues beginning to come out of my mouth. So I uh, woke up the next morning and my dad happened to be a chaperone that year too for a group of boys and I saw him on the playground and we sat together on a picnic bench and I just said dad I think something happened last night but but I, I'm afraid it was me. I'm afraid it was, you know, me making these words up or, you know, conjuring this up in the emotion of the moment. And I'm just afraid maybe it wasn't real. And I can just remember the, just the humble spirit of my dad who spoke into my life to say, don't you ever doubt the power of the Holy Spirit in who you are and in what he wants to accomplish in you. I can envision us on that bench and just, we prayed together and he, that sealed a moment in my life. A few years later, one of my most vivid memories was a youth advance that came with my youth group. There was just a moment that I can just remember how clearly it settled in my spirit that I was meant for the ministry. I was called to the ministry. I didn't know what that looked like in, um, you know, in all the terms and things like that, but I knew in that moment that he had destined my life for the work of the church and the work of the ministry. Fast forward to my life and lots of other events and times that we got to spend together here. And God was setting me up for the greatest joys of my life still to come. And that is, for the last 10 years, I have been so blessed to be a part of the conference center through kids' camps and retreats. I have watched literally thousands of kids walk from those same seats that I sat in to that same altar and to kneel before God and just say, here I am. I wanna be what you want me to be. So use me, fill me, change me. Some of them are kids just like me, but every single one of them have the same opportunity to come to know Jesus better, to be filled with his spirit, to be called for a purpose. And it's amazing. Some of those kids now happen to be my own. And that is the full circle moment of my life if I've ever seen one. I was watching just a few weeks ago at kids camp this summer, my own kids at the same altar where I knelt, crying out for the same things that I cried out for, in the same corners of these rooms, being blessed by adults around them, making friendships that God will develop now to encourage them decades from now. That's what he did for me, and I'm watching him do it for so many more. And I know, we all know, that God doesn't require a certain place to pour out His Spirit. We know that. But there's also something to be said for the sacred grounds where He chooses to pour out His Spirit again and again and again, where we can come expecting, where we can be refreshed and lifted up and loved on and enriched in so many ways. Maybe even more than we were expecting. A lot of times even more so than we know we need it at the time for all those kids, for all those students, for pastors like you and me. That happens right here. So thank you for all that you've given, for everything you've done. Thank you, Bongiorno and everyone that has invested. Because I am different because of what you've given. My kids will be different and changed and shaped because of what happens here. And it matters.